What's going on guys? My name is Neve. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of new releases, uh, live streams. Hopefully, hopefully I can keep a schedule like this every week, every Friday, maybe around four or five uh, p.m. Eastern time. Hope you guys are having a great day, having a great week. And uh, today's scent of the day, I'm testing out Proud of You by Fragrance World. I'm loving it so far. I'm freaking loving it so far. So what are you guys rocking today? I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some new releases. Going to make me make this like a 30 minute live stream. Got a couple of errands to run. Got to catch the Sam's Club and get some chicken and protein shakes. Hope you guys are doing good. What up, Kyler? What's going on? So there's three new fragrances that are going to be coming out very soon. And there's one that I just got my hands on, Phantom Parfum, I believe, along with a bunch of other releases that I didn't cover yet. Uh, there's Bulgari Man in Black, the Parfum Edition. I've been trying to get my hands on for a little bit. Still haven't been able to find that one. There's also, I don't know if I'm interested in Tom Ford's Oud Wood Parfum. That one I might actually just try in stores since, you know, you don't have to, like, you can't really blind buy it. And then uh, eventually I'm going to come back and do like successful blind buys or just blind buys of 2024 as a recap. We'll talk about a lot of these, these fragrances, the new fragrances that I've been, you know, getting my hands on, etc. So let's see. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is the one that looks the least interesting to me. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be a good fragrance. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not going to try and get my hands on it. I probably am. I'm a Lombada, can you show side effect? That's what's up, man. Eternal Meadows, that's what's up. What up, Greg? How you guys doing? Thank you, Damien. I appreciate that. So the first fragrance we're going to be looking at is right here, and it's called Boss Bottled, the new Triumph Elixir. They hit with that elixir, and they're just like, man, let's just keep sucking it out of that damn elixir. So that's probably what's going on here, okay? So uh, they're going to do elixirs until elixirs don't do elixirs anymore. But hey, I'm not mad at it. I'm loving the intensity, the punch, and a lot of that good stuff. So fragrance notes include just these three, <laughs> which is really not much. Violet leaf, vetiver, and patchouli. So although I'm not the craziest about green fragrances, this looks like it might be up my alley, considering the fact that it has something powdery. I love the note of iris, violet, powdery nuances. If this has like a good balance uh, of all, it doesn't look like it's going to be that much of a summer fragrance, but we'll see. Am I interested? Yes. Am I going to blind buy? Yes. Should you blind buy? That's up to you, bro. <laughs> but I will definitely be trying. Um, so I started with the least interesting one, but um, honestly, the Boss Bottled Elixir is currently my favorite bottled. I love Boss Bottled Elixir. I actually like that one more than I do Sauvage Elixir. I'd wear Sauvage Elixir more, but Boss Bottled Elixir just speaks much more to me. It's much more masculine, manly, etc. So yeah, here's a nice little breakdown for us. The Parfum is also excellent, by the way. Parfum is like fall, springtime. These are Hands down, my favorite too is Boss Bottled Elixir and Boss Bottled Parfum. Um, but yeah, 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 it's really good. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you had an amazing day as well, Shubham. Thank you, bro. Ahmed Al Maghribi, Ignite Oud, brah, fire. Love that stuff. Uh, more than just leather, bro. More, much more. Oud, etc. Um, absolutely, Anthony. Always good vibes. Inshallah, God willing. So, okay. So that's the first fragrance. So like I said, it's not going to be that much to talk about rather, but uh, more so, more so just coming on here to connect with you guys for about 30 minutes. And here's a topic that we can do it on. So this I'm actually excited for. I've been diving much more into Polo fragrances in my collection. Uh, Polo Red Parfum. I actually love Polo Red Parfum. I genuinely love it. I've been rocking that one a lot more recently. And Polo Blue Parfum, in my opinion, is better than... Aqua de Joe Profundo. My, in my opinion, it's better than Aqua de Joe Profundo. Has a little bit more boldness, more character, etc. I'd rather go with Polo Blue Parfum than ADG Profundo. So this is another new one as well. It's Polo 67. And this is supposed to have, uh, let's see, the notes. Notes for this one is going to be, I don't see, oh, here it is. So, Bergamot. Aquatic, lavender, and then we have pineapple, geranium, sunflower seeds, accord. Okay, cool. Something nutty, probably. Uh, clary sage, Haitian vetiver, sandalwood, and patchouli. This sounds like it's up my alley. I mean, I like woody, aromatic, um, and fresh. Woody, aromatic, fresh, maybe some like classic vibes here. So I'm looking forward to this one. Polo 67. Looks like it might be more of like a summer flanker, more of a sport fragrance, but the note breakdown suggests a little bit more than that with the whole sandalwood 
uh, clary sage, aromatic, and this sunflower seed. So quite interesting note breakdown. Pretty interesting. And this, I'm definitely more interested than I am in the boss. But definitely going to be grabbing both of them. What up, brown boy? Um, I have not tried Zamaya Royal Paragon yet. No, bro. No. Wonder if Axon Intense versus... Proud of You is closer to the original. Uh, Wonder uh, or Axon Intense is like uh, sweeter. Sweeter than the original for sure. Axon Intense is much sweeter than the original. And let's see. There is one more that I wanted to talk about. This one, Skandal. So Skandal, the drop, the news of this one was... It's been quite some time, but this is going to be the uh, absolute. So... Skandal, the original, when I first got it, which was not long ago, I actually really fell in love with it. I ended up buying a bigger bottle. The Le Parfum, it's too subtle, man. It just, it's too close. Overall, it's the more mature vibe, but the more, the original is more playful, uh, definitely gets more noticed, etc. This one, however, is saying that it's going to have notes of black fig, tuberose, and sand, or nope, that's for the women. This is going to be plum, chestnut, and sandalwood. So this sounds absolutely intoxicating. So plum and chestnut and sandalwood, I'm dying to see what this is going to smell like. So this is absolutely on my radar of fragrances that I have to get. I love sweet, et cetera. By the way, for those of you who are like, get us Perseus, it's time for spring. It's 28 degrees and we just got eight inches of snow. So I'm looking at Scandal Absolute like, yes, please, come on. So yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of snow here for the women, for the ladies as well. The notes on this one sounds pretty good as well. Uh, black fig, tuberose, and sandalwood. That actually sounds pretty jammy, woody, creamy. Sounds pretty good in my opinion. So we'll see. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Lebo line. Not really. I haven't dove into them yet, but I will. There's those glaciers, etc. cetera. Uh, I have Janaid perfumes for sure, bro. I already have them, homie. Uh, Poland, what's up, man? uh baron yes yeah man it's really good bro zach it's really good it's like carlisle meets red tobacco meat it's it's a, amazing and it's loud as hell uh yeah no questions asked sweet fragrances i'm all about it bro all about it what's good asher how you doing the new elder gum white what they must have been watching we, we, yo, we made that one a hit. So they made a new white one. That's crazy. Just got Polo 67 in last night. I like it, but it's smelling like something I already have. Do you really have it? How? Where'd you get it from? Let me see if it's available. Polo 67. Oh, yeah, it's out. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm probably going to go buy this tomorrow then. It's already available in Macy's. Okay. Uh, in France, I don't know if you can, bro. I don't know if you can. Yes, Macy's, Dillard's, etc. I'm going to be trying it very soon. Invicto if, or Victoria Invicto. They came out later. They smell better, better quality for sure. So yeah, like I was saying, you guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with the one I'm wearing today. Proud of you. I was not expecting anything out of it. Like, and the reason is, is because I kind of gave up with your touch by Mesa Alhambra. It's a lot more citruses. It doesn't really get the uh, chestnut, etc. But this one really does. It really freaking smells like it. I mean, if anything, it just doesn't get the syrupy sweetness as sweet as the original. But uh, it's ridiculous. Hypnotic Oud. Tada, we, yo, yep. Hypnotic Oud sounds amazing for it. Summer Hammer was a beast. It lasted, yeah, by Lorenzo Pazaglia. He's got some good ones, man. Um, yeah, for me, much better than OG. What up, Wild? How you doing, bro? I mean, Andy, it really depends on which scent you want more, bro. Do you want sweeter? Go with Axon Intense. Do you want closer to the, like, original? It would be proud of you. But Axon Intense lasts all freaking day in screens. Um, Naxos. Naxos, that's what's up, man. You're lucky. You have spring times to be able to wear Naxos, Kathy. We don't. We don't, unfortunately. And, like, it's one of those transitioning season fragrances. And that's why I really like Naxos. But I dock it in points because of wearability. Uh, at least in my climate. I don't get the many options to, or many chances to wear that fragrance. I'm pretty much done, Lindsay, with all the new releases. That's it. There's Polo 67. There was um, the Skandal, and there was the other one. What was the other one? Man, the memory of a freaking rat. <laughs> but yeah, 
I probably should have gotten Phantom Parfum and just unboxed it here, but I don't know where it is. Uh, Paco Rabanne's Phantom Parfum, the newer one. I got it in. I just got it in actually from Herod's Overseas. Dead Sea, I don't like aquatics to that extent. It's pretty salty. I would say go with Van Ecstasy X. That's a good one. Or go with the aquatic that has vanilla. Thank you, Maceo. I appreciate it. Uh, underrated sweet, spicy cheapies. Underrated. I don't know about underrated, but I think that uh, Ode Spice Extreme is fantastic. I think it's it's fantastic. There's that Exposed by Fragrance World. It's boozy. It's like a booze meets Armani Code Profumo. It's called Exposed. Poor unisex. Exposed, poor unisex. I think Triple Traders has it. You use code Aromatics to save if you want. Um... Bing is asking, Solaria Oros or Supremacy Not Only Intense? For me, I like Oros. It just it projects like crazy, but both of them are really good. Uh, Supremacy Not Only Intense is a bit more Ambroxan. Uh, Oros gets more of that wet woods. I'm in love with the Oud. I chewed Oud chips to make sure I bleed Oud. Oh, shit. Damn, bro. I like your style. <laughs> I like your style. Yes, the next Clone War is Neroli Portofino. It's coming out very soon. Has anyone come out with any type of... Um, no. No. Black Sea is 24 hours consistently. Bro, listen, Lorenzo Pizzaglia. I'm going to make a video on those fragrances soon, and you guys will know which ones. These, they're like, last all day. They definitely deserve it. Uh, guys, don't get hyped for just Azraq. Which one? Just Azraq. Not Zanzibar, but Invictus, Elixir, and oof. Too strong. I love it. So you're telling them not to get hyped, but then you're hyping them up. <laughs> I like your style. I'm going to try it. Just Azraq. We'll see. Uh, just ordered Zakriyat Lux. Zakriyat Lux. Bro, I swear to God. There's got to be some something there. Magenta Tanzanite by Armani. I think. Yeah, it's, it's really good. This actually smells extremely high quality. I swear to God, I get these random questions. I don't plan it. How do you plan it? You know, like, what do I have? Like 300? This is good, man. This is really good. This is really good. It's different. It's ambery. What is a good way to organize your fragrances to ensure they get worn? Bro, I have no, there's no method to the madness. I like try and put shelves. I've got one, two, three, four, five shelves aside from the ones you guys see here. And the first one there is like fragrances that test. So like, if you look at my Instagram, my first post of the day is something random. It's usually just like whatever comes to mind. The second post of the day is like a, it's like a review. The second post of the day, it's like, hey, I'm going to go, you know, F myself. Come with me. I'm going to wear this bottle of cologne and tell you guys how it does during the day. So those are the fragrances. They're sitting right there. I'll take it. I'll spray it. And we'll go do stuff together. At the end of the day, I'll record and finish the video and tell you guys the mini review, basically. So that's what I do. I like to place like fragrances that need to be worn in the beginning there. And then um, everything else, I place it based on recommendations. Bro, don't even get me started. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. Any ideas of the next... Uh, after that one, I'm thinking possibly, uh, Diorome Intense or Musk Therapy. Nitro White, I have it on the way. Have you tried BB Swimming Pool? Really herby fragrance? No, I have not. Red Tobacco Intense, 12 sprays, 1 p.m. noon, summer day. That's it. That's it. Leveled up. Any ideas of the, oh, okay, I already answered that one. Uh, yeah, kind of did both hype and unhype since we already got many elixir dupes. We do have a lot of elixir dupes, though. We really do. Uh, Invicto Elixir is a really good one, and Epoque Artistique. They're both a little bit different, though. Epoque focuses more on like the amber woods and the sweetness, and One Million Elixir really, really gets it. Really gets it. Oh, for sure. I would be surprised if there isn't a new One Million this year. I'd be surprised. And they're probably going to go the whole, oh, they already did Elixir. They're probably going to go like rich, dense. They're starting to realize people like that stuff. What do you think of Super's Coco Loco? I haven't. I don't think I tried that one, bro. My dad loves Terra Dermes, who are also good. Um, yo, that new 
that new Perseus is amazing. That new Perseus is amazing. Um, if you're looking for a fresher version or like Lacoste, that L1212 Blanco Fresh, or get them a flanker of it, or Guerlain Vetiver. Guerlain Vetiver is really good as well. I like Roja Vetiver as well, by the way. Um, not the best, like six hours, Andy. French and Brazilian. Yeah, it's probably some twist of something, Zach. Zombies eat brains. Thanks, Lee. Oh, ah, ha, ha. so if you bought Adventist, you have no brains. Cosmic pepper. Not tried it. I am getting kumquat and Hindu Kush. I like Hindu Kush. I need that fragrance that shall be named the clone of PDM Altair. Oh, yeah, the liquid brune. Better be coming in. One million elixir. It's called L Rai by Fragrance World. A L R A I E E. What up, Duke? You got it, bro. I hope you enjoy it, man. Ahmed, what's happening, baby? Uh, special frag? Hmm. Not really. Not anymore. I mean, they're duping everything under the sun at this point. They're doing twists as well. I mean, I like the twists a lot. Nope, never tried Cypress Parfums. Do you know any? It was similar, similar to Gris Charnel. There was one on the top. It's like Fig, Oris, Iris. Mm. Not quite, but I mean, I would place like, but no, Prada Lome is way different. But I would place like Prada Lome in a family similar to, um, but nothing to that standard, nothing to that quality. Like figs, mm. fig is very distinct though. So nothing quite. Listen, Ahmed, I'm not the owner, okay? I wish I was. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not. Man, you guys are going to make me go start my own. Start selling my own liquid brunes. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Is there a 1 million royal clone? You know what? Speaking of, Altair smells like it has some 1 million royal in the backbone of it. Um, there is a 1 million royal, actually. It's by Fragrance World. It's not available yet, so let me not even talk about it. But yes, there is one. It's not available yet. Red silver is not bad, but it doesn't smell. It smells like you paid around 25, 30 bucks, but for the price, it's not bad. So drop Boisse, a little bit more metallic. They have one, it's called The Myth by Fragrance World. It's like the quality of it is insane. It looks like a square, it looks like a cab. It's weird, but it's called The Myth by Fragrance World. Triple Traders has it. Mm. I wouldn't say Cedrat Boisse, but. Solerio Oros is like a blend of Hachiva and Cedra, or like that vibe, I should say, not Cedra. So I would say that's a good one. Any recommendations? Summer fragrance that has mint basil top notes that isn't sweet. Um, I personally find Invictus Legend not to be sweet. It has basil, not mint. So that's one. You can go with Invicto Legend. There's another one called Destination's Flame, but it is slightly sweet. It has rosemary, rosemary instead of mint. It's the Versace Eros Flame. Otherwise, as far as like a naturalistic smelling fragrance like that, no, maybe you're good, good going with like Renaissance clone by Alexandria Fragrances. There is one by Fragrance World. It's called Pinnace White, the Pinnace White one, but it's not out yet. That's the thing. And it's exactly what you're looking for. It's slightly herbal, fresh, not sweet. It's really good. It smells like you're on a yacht and it looks like a yacht, like a little white boat, but it's not available yet. Uh, as far as the cheapies go. That's what you're going to get. As, like th Those natural smelling fragrances are hard to recreate, I would say. Um, I wouldn't put it past them, but definitely. And then there's those Divine Asylum, uh, Roger Elysium inspired by, or even Imperium, but it doesn't last long. It's Imperium by Fragrance World. But hopefully they'll bring back Divine Asylum, man. Uh, I got Nitro Red on the way. Is there really a BR540 kind of mix in it? Sure, there's like a sponge sugar, but I get a lot more than just that. It's much better than something like that. For me personally, I love it. Solerio Oros, man. I love Solerio Oros. Isn't Vintage Radio better than Anashama? I like Anashama more. It's more jammy or plum. La, uh, Latafa Ra'id Silver or Qaf? 
that's up to you. They're completely different scent profiles. One has like Pettigrain. I'm, I don't like Pettigrain, but uh, Cough smells better, higher quality. Yeah, I said Penis White. Mm -hmm. What up, Elton Niesel? How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you as well. You caught me at the tail end, though. I'm wrapping it up within the next five minutes. Um, am I a fan of the designer private lines? Some of them. They really have to be good. They really have to be good. Chanel, I mean, some of them are okay. Like I smell, I smelled all of them, but there was not one where I was like, I have to have this. Just, just my taste personally. Um, Dior, I've smelled them as well. Like YSL private line, there's few I bought. Givenchy, there's only one that I bought. The rest, it is, it's, they're okay. Maybe when I keep revisiting them, I'll change my mind, but. Sharaf Oud Royal. I'm going to try it. Oud for greatness. Oh, okay. Haramein Tanasuk is insane. Insane. Only streaming for 20. Yeah, bruh. Sam's Club. They close, man. <laughs> Blamed Sam's Club, man. Oh. So I've been trying to be a little bit more organized, you guys. Like, so from Monday through Friday, I used to literally just. My life was not organized. Everything wasn't organized. I was doing this 24 seven. Like I'll be at work working on this and I'll be like driving, going or like at the gym, finishing a short. So I finally found like a nice organized way. And hopefully this way I can consistently live stream on Fridays at five. Honor and glory. I love it, man. Super addicting. Pineapple creamy. It's, it's ridiculously good. Um, Bleecker Street. What's his name? There's a brother that has a really a better interpretation. And it's like a small indie house. Not even indie. What's his name? He's another reviewer. He's Latino. He's Hispanic. I forgot the name. Damn it. That's not going to do you any good. If I remember, I'll let you know. Azaro Sport Extreme or Nitro? Nitro, bro. Uh, oh. Azaro Sport doesn't last. Azaro Extreme. Mm, nitro, man. But for very hot... For very hot, you might be better off with the Azaro. But even Nitro Red, I would still rock it. Yeah, I thought I could. we only have the Hultane from Parfum or er, from Fragrance World. Hartnell. Raza, I've always been the clone king, okay? But now I'm slowly becoming the uh, fragrance king. <laughs> uh, both. No, I'm just playing. I've actually been uh, getting a lot more designers, niche, et cetera, or not even getting. I've always had them, but talking more so about them. More so. Definitely. And and you know what? It's because this year they really stepped their game up significantly. We didn't have elixirs and stuff like this, but no, one stop, man. That's the goal. Everything and anything. It doesn't matter. If it smells good, I'm talking about it. Uh, signature, high quality, 50 to 100, citric fresh. Signature, citric fresh. Go with... Bro, you could do it even less than that. Uh, without Citric, fresh, slightly gourmandish, performs. Go with Salvatore, Ferragamo, Womo, Casual Life. The reason why I'm recommending that is because for Signature Scent, you want something you could easily rock and just beat around. That's a great one. Casual Life by Salvatore, Ferragamo. I wouldn't recommend, I mean, I mean or I could say YSL, YEDP, but that's like 100 bucks for Signature Scent. I mean, you could Signature Scent that one as well. About 50 to $100. You can get two of those since you're on a budget, obviously. Otherwise, I mean, I would recommend maybe even trying something like Polo Red Parfum. That could be easily signature. I love that bad boy. But yeah, I would say go with that. The uh, Salvatore. I have them both. Video coming. Sammy Andraus. That's what it is, Duke. Sammy Andraus, Bleecker Street. He actually does Bleecker Street better than Bleecker Street does itself. Bleecker Street thought it knew what Bleecker Street was, but it didn't until Bleecker Street by Sammy Andrews. <laughs> A lot of Bleecker Streets, man. Sapple Intense for Summer. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. The blue one, yes. Middle Eastern Samples on a Budget. So there's a website called fragrance decant boutique i have a code with them it's aromatics uh, i think they have middle eastern cheapies for now but we're going to try and coordinate where they can get like middle eastern niche as well like uh, arabian oud etc 
Also, I think Benadir has a few samples on some of the cheapies as well. Yeah, I would say that going with Ra'id Silver, you can get away with it for the summertime. But like I said, it has that something metallic, oak mossy, something like that. You could go with Ra'id Silver. It's not bad at all. But even like Ra'id Al Fursan is probably, you know, more pineapple y than that one. But you have to spray that one like eight times, man. Uh, the new Khadlij Chorus Blue Spice. Hmm. Is it even available? I don't think it's available in the States yet, bro. It's not available in the States yet. I remember smelling it, though. And it was really good, but I have not... Hmm. It's good, but it's not in the States yet. Yes, Andy Dua has the best one. Good day, Jack. For under 50 bucks, a tropical men's fragrance. Go with like Qa'ad al Fursan by Latafa. You can go with, uh, I forgot what it was called. I think it's called Tribute. Is it called Tribute by Grandeur or Al Wataniya? I forgot what it was called, man. But yeah, you go Qad al Fursan is a great tropical fragrance for men. You gotta spray it on though. You really gotta spray it on. Another one, uh, tropical men. See, there's tropical unisex because I find a lot of tropical fragrances to be unisex, but not anything distinctively men. And that's 18 bucks. The top and each have more quality than designer fragrances. I wouldn't say so, no. Close to actually, maybe some, it depends on which ones. The niche line, yeah, they're close. Tamarindo, the only one is from Dua brand, Adam, and they actually do really good. It's called Costarindo. Affordable gym fragrances. I have a whole list of that on YouTube. But yeah, you can go with Azaro Chrome Aqua, you can go with Azaro Chrome Extreme, you can go with Invicto Legend, you can go with. Um, you can go with Diomez Sport. You can go with uh, Hollister Festival Night. You can go with, you're talking about cheapies, right? So Mont Blanc Explorer. You can go with the, the freaking Supremacy Not Only Intense. Uh, Celerio Oros. A lot, actually, for cheapies, for the gym. Qaid al Shabab. I have not tried that one, no. Beastly leather. That's what's up, man. Baccarat Rouge or Badi Aloud Honor and Glory for date night. Ooh, that's hard, man. I don't really care for Baccarat Rouge anymore. You might, though, if you're still in that realm, probably Baccarat Rouge. Honor and Glory is sweet. Honor and Glory is sweet. I would personally, I don't think I would pick either of those for a date, bro. I'm sorry. I've lost so many cologne, Sam. It's not even funny. Any fragrances that smell like chai, especially with cardamom? Yeah, actually, Zerzhov Starlight. But then there are other cheap ones, which I... Which one? Chai, chai. Zerzhov Starlight is a good one. It smells like cardamom tea. There's got to be a few more, but it's just not, not clicking right now. Middle Eastern coffee. Middle East. Oh, no, that's coffee. Kahwa by fragrance world but that's coffee duman oro smell like it smells like pineapples woody woody pineapple black currant citruses earthy it's really good it's a blend of like hachibat and aventus but it's so so freaking strong what up broski you just caught the end of it though man because i'm wrapping this bad boy up br540 by emperor that's all that matters man if you're enjoying it kathy then keep on enjoying it you don't have to buy six different kinds of it if you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. Amber Iris by EPC or Amber Blonde. Oof, that's hard. But you're comparing $400 to $125. So that's hard, bro. It's not a comparison. I'm sorry, I can't. Because that's $400 versus $125. I would say start with $125. See if you like Ambers. Um, best affordable pickup. This is going to be the end for this one. Uh, 
for this year. The best affordable pickup for this year. Does Liquid Brune count? Probably not. The Shadow Extrait de Parfum? Probably not because I already talked about it. Honestly, one of the most surprising ones is the La Uno by Fragrance World. The La Uno para whatever ombres. This thing right here. And also a new one that I just got. It's called Tribute or Paradox Tribute. This is from Triple Traders. I cannot believe this is 40 bucks. So this is the best pickup because of the quality, okay? Not because it's the best fragrance I put my nose to, but I was extremely surprised. The box is like felt. It's 40 bucks on Triple Traders, but it smells a lot like Tobacco, ro uh, tobacco Rose by BDK. This smells like niche. Like when, as soon as I sprayed it, I was so taken aback. So for now, this is probably one of the best ones. Um, it's called Paradox Tribute. And then another one is called La Uno, El Uno Para whatever ombres okay and this smells a lot like dng the one the original but it lasts longer there is there is a couple more honestly i'm gonna make a list okay i'm gonna say the best pickups of 2024 the best cheap pickups of 2024 well they're all blind so the best blind buys of 2024 cheapies i'll do a cheapy edition and i'll do the designer edition but uh i don't know how many designers i've bought in this year so far perseus um I have to find out. I'm probably going to put Boss Bottle Elixir. Did I buy that this year or last year? I'm not sure, but you guys get the point. Society Extreme, it wasn't really a blind buy, but it was a blind snip. It wasn't a blind buy. I smelled it first, but I would have bought it anyway. You get the picture. Um, there are quite a few, so we'll talk about them. But uh, I don't want to just say, this were the best ones, and then just be like, um, not give you a descriptor, because I can answer that now, but it's not fair. You're going to go and buy them, and you don't know anything about it. So wait for a list. Yes. If you need services, lawyer services, this guy's the best. Ernest Terizu. Now he's going to give me free services. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. But let me give you a reason why for the ones that, that I gave you guys. So tribute, paradox tribute, tripletraders.com. Use my code. It's like 26 bucks. No, not 26. It'll be 36 or 35. It smells like tobacco rose. Tobacco rose is like $180. That in itself blew me away. Okay. It genuinely blew me away. The La Uno, it blew me away in terms of how rich it smells and how close it actually is to the original in comparison to how it looks. When I saw the way it looks, how close it is, I was expecting nothing, um, and it outperformed the original. The original, you can find on discounters for around 45 bucks, the small bottle, and that one I think is around $40, but still, it outperforms it. That's it. My lawyer does have a discount code as well. It's code Aromatics. He'll give you 10%. <laughs> oh, shit. French Portrait by Fragrance World, but it's beastly. It's beastly. Uh, safe, cheap gym fragrance. Uh, go with Azaro Chrome Extreme or go with Jimmy Choo Man Blue. Jimmy Choo Man Blue is underrated and it's really good. But it's not as light as something like um, go with like Prada Loam Low. That's a good one as well. Or you can go with another one. I'm looking at it real quick. Yeah, I would say, honestly, Azaro Chrome Extreme is a no-brainer for the gym. But it's just meh, it's whatever. Yes, it's called French Portrait by Fragrance World, but it's absolute beast mode. Um, trying to impress my MBA classmate. Ah. The Shadow by Extrait de Parfum. Or by Extrait de Parfum. By F.A. Par but that's Oud. That's Oud and Saffron. I don't know if you want to do that. I would say Liquid Brune, but it's not there yet. Um, yeah. Ignite Oud by Ahmed Al Maghribi. Ben Adir has it as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. There is no Coral Fantasy clone yet. I'll see you guys very soon. Uh, review of limited limited edition Nitro Red. It's not out yet, man. They better bring it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe, and peace. Until the next one, you guys.